His voice is high a little. I'm gonna be honest with you. These guys are having a blind reaction. I, if I wasn't watching, I would definitely think this was a woman, but already with great technique it's it's lovely the intonation is great and um the vibrato is lovely it's uh artistic it's floaty it's nice but it's very interesting who it's coming out of i guess that's that's the idea <laughs> This is beautiful. This is beautiful, but very bizarre. I, I can't, I'm sorry to com comment on it again. Even, even the fact that it sounds a little bit more feminine, also, also just this t-shirt and jeans thing, like this is highly expressive in the choices he's making technically to bring this melody to life. It's very artistic and he just looks so casual. <laughs> I wonder if they think he is a woman. Okay, I just paid him a lot of compliments and I don't take them back, but there is some dissonance to me as an audience member hearing this very flowery, very mm, feminine, not just tone of voice, but even the choices he's making are very like delicate and graceful. I'm not sure for me at this point, Time, it, I don't know, I don't know if I, like it's a little weird, it's weird, but he's good, but it's like, I don't know. watch the more I wonder if he will ever truly belt or if he will always stay in this floaty place. I feel that if he only stays here I will miss the thicker um, belting but again I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what song this is, but to me it reminds me of something that would appear in like a Cirque du Soleil production. Again, a very theatrical. I don't know how pop it is. I don't know that it matters. <laughs> <laughs> 
when you're looking at a singer, one of the ways to, to judge their technique is the end of phrases. Do they know how to stop making sound in a very controlled, purposeful way that is not distracting? This man is in very, very good control. Very thoughtful singer, very thoughtful performance. Never take a chance because I'm too afraid my heart will break Everything that everyone is standing right in front of me But I think I'm running from the only one I really need The time stands still and I'm feeling so much pain It's all right here and I just gotta trust that you're the one Time has come so tell me baby what's it gonna take Um, it's really neat hearing him sing a song that is a little bit more rooted in popular music. It is still beautiful, it is still very in control, but for me this is more of a modern sound. S same voice, of course, but a more modern use of it. We can be the champions, we can all the night. Yeah, let us join us, all we gonna try. Keep it looking at us, close, trying to grab the light. Cause this could be the greatest moment of my life. Just to demonstrate, just to be clear, what he just sang, this is in the middle of my range as a, as a woman. This is very high. Fed it in my blood. Something about your energy that must be there every time I talk. Hmm, interesting. Um, Agility-wise, that was not the tightest little riff. He is clearly an amazing singer, and this is live, so it could be a one-off, but I'm curious to hear more. So tell me why we're waiting for, cause we should have it on the line. good singer. He's a really good singer. This is clean. This is so musical. This is very beautiful. I don't know if this will be a popular opinion. As much as I, he is wonderful, I don't know how much I resonate with the tone of his voice. But it is absolutely beautiful. Because it gets a little... It's just like anybody's voice. We are drawn to different sounds. To me, that more narrow sound, it is not wrong. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. As a matter of fact, it is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if I resonate with it. <laughs> really great control. That little yodel. No, whatever it was, beautiful, beautiful technique. We can be the champions, we can hold the night. 
He is so easy to listen to. He is so in control of his voice. This is a pleasure to listen to. Yeah, that high note. I know people get really excited about high notes, whether it's a woman or a man doing it. For me, this kind of thing is a bit of a parlor trick, uh, meaning that it's only so useful in day-to-day -day music. Now he is on stage, he's putting on a show, he has got the audience in the palm of his hands. It is the perfect time to pull something like this out, but it always makes me laugh when the general public gets so excited about something like this, when imagine you're at a party and someone was like, hold on, like it's less exciting than just singing beautifully, which he also does, so fair enough. It's bizarre. I don't know what to say. Like, ah, well, while remaining polite, like as a female, when I watch a male artist, I want to feel like, mmm, like yum, that's so attractive. I don't know. Like it is beautiful from an artistic standpoint, beautiful instrument. But I don't know if my lady juices are f flowing because it's just so female, but it's, it's so good. Is this a pink song? I have a feeling this is a pink song and I have a feeling this is somehow the original key of the pink song. <sighs> Okay, I do appreciate this because we're hearing the bottom, thicker, bassier, richer part of his voice, which, which is a little bit more masculine, a little bit more true to his speaking voice. I I'm gonna guess, I have not he heard him speak, but I know that I, I enjoy hearing him down in this, I want it all, it's nice to hear him. Down here. I see his stage presence is amping up too. He's, his confidence is amping up. It's great. Okay, his speaking voice is really high. I, will, I, I have to take back what I said. His speaking voice is really high. Actually, it's not even, he's not even trying. I think that's easy for him. I would say of anything, his agility is the most thing that I would want to train with him, is, is just making his ability to move from note to note quickly, which is what, what we mean when we're talking about vocal agility. Now this is a live performance, so anything could be up, right? We don't know what he's hearing in his ears, we don't know what he's experiencing in his body or what's happening around him, but just from what I've heard so far, ha, that is the most <clears throat> questionable thing I've heard so far, which, don't get me wrong, I am trying to find things to say about this guy, because he's, he's great. You know what, his agility is really strong, and if you listen to his vibrato, you can tell if a singer has very agile voice and good control if you can hear that they're putting in vibrato on really, really short notes, not just long ones where there's tons of time to unfold the vibrato, and I'm hearing him, he's able to put vibrato in even in a short amount of time.
singer gets little things that they like to do a lot. Ha is a riff that he likes to use. It's it's lovely, but I anticipate I'm going to hear it in other songs. Uh, I think. Okay, so he knows that that's his thing. And he knows that the crowd reacts when he uses his high voice even higher than than in the rest of the song. So he pulls this out a lot. Maybe I would too, because I bet you the crowd goes wild every time. Oh my God, I know this song. I taught this to a student. Okay, so he's a great singer, but again, this is a, an insane amount of production supporting him. So you always want to give credit to the production as well, because now we're looking at more than just a singer. We're looking at an artist with a big support system underneath. This is awesome. You just heard him use all those high notes. Ha ah, up there, floaty, floaty. And now he's a little bit more in the center of his voice again, right? Right where he talks. Awesome. He's switching between the registers effortlessly. <laughs> But there's still a little bit of a chipmunk quality to it, right? Again, some people will be very drawn to this and some people will find it less, less exciting, but it will, nothing will take away from how talented he is, how hard he's worked and how well he can control his voice. You cannot make the tone of your voice anything other than what it is. And as a matter of fact, the wisest thing you can do as a singer and artist is lean into what it really is. So he is making the best possible use of, of his voice, uh, even if it's not, if it doesn't please my personal taste. You can see I still have a big fat smile on my face because it's, he is talented. It is beautiful. <laughs> I think it's worth pointing out that this song is technically very challenging. There's a lot going on here and he is pretty flawless. He is moving in and out of registers so easily and this song has a vast range. He's nailing it, in my opinion. <laughs> Okay, that's the first time I've heard him chicken out. 
Now, many of you won't even know what I'm talking about because he's in tune. The song is still accurate, but there is a place that just passed where he could have, should have, could have, used a more powerful part in his voice, but he cut out into a head voice or into a, into a thinner, into a thinner kind of sound early, earlier than he needed to, earlier than he could have chosen to. And it's not going to ruin the experience for anybody because it's in tune and the song is intact, but it, I felt, I felt like the, the air kind of got let out of that phrase before I wish it did. Again, so as opposed to it may be a stylistic choice he's making, but it feels a little weird to me to be, we're in the, we're in the apex of the song, the most exciting part of the song. It's generally not the place where you want to thin out, right? You want to be really thick and keep the excitement up. I'm not sure why he's doing it. You know what? He may be fatiguing. This is, this is a massive, massive performance. And there's a lot of thicker, beltier things in this song that I've seen him do in other songs. So he may be making that choice because he's fatiguing, in which case, good call. Because you want to, you want to make it through not only the song, but the entire performance if this is a full concert. So that may be a wise decision on his behalf. <laughs> It's nice to hear this airy kind of a kind of a breath of fresh air from all the thicker, heavier, more complex melodies. This is a really nice choice he's making to be kind of floaty and intimate. <laughs> Beautiful.